Major food banks in this country are struggling to pull in the amount of food they need to put out. Demand has been so high for so long now, some officials say the ongoing struggle may force them to close their doors. CTV's Colton Prail reports. Food bank donations are more vital than ever, but they're not going as far as they used to. We ourselves are having to pull back on the amount of food that we can provide in the community because we have to make sure that we are sustainable for the next couple of years. Some of Canada's most crucial community safeguards are sounding alarm bells over what they say is an unsustainable increase in demand that's threatening their very existence. We're worried that if we don't make changes now, we won't be around in the next three to four years. New data from Statistics Canada shows nearly 23% of Canadians experienced food insecurity in 2022 an increase of nearly 1.8 million people from the year before. At what point has government outsourced to charity their duty, and, uh, and when do we say enough? Visits to Toronto's Daily Bread Food Bank are forecasted to reach half a million people every month by the end of next year, a drastic leap from 65,000 visits a month pre-pandemic. And at some point, it can't just be community, it can't just be uh, philanthropic good. It needs to be something that is in policy, something that is in government uh, laws and regulations to ensure that every Canadian can thrive in community. Ottawa is pointing to the National School Food Fund and the Canada Child Benefit as supports that have helped lower the number of Canadians living beneath the poverty line since the Liberals first took office. But that number is ticking back up increasing for the second year in a row and now nearing pre-pandemic levels. Morella. Difficult times, Colton. Thank you.